This is a video about the Doppler effect. So the Doppler effect is the apparent shift in frequency due to the relative motion between a source and an observer. So if you're standing on the side of the road and you hear an ambulance go by and it goes, what you hear is an apparent shift in the ambulance's siren. But in fact, of course, the actual siren frequency doesn't change. So the way I like to think about this is if you were at the beach, so imagine that you're standing at the beach and the waves are approaching you. So if you just stand still, these waves are going to hit you at a certain frequency. Say they hit you every second or something. So we hit a wave, hit a wave, hit a wave. And that frequency of the waves going up and down does not change. So that would just be a, a constant. It's like this, the speed of sound, it would be a constant. Now, but if you were to run into the shore, into the waves, so if you start running, then clearly you're gonna hit the waves more frequently. And so you're gonna think that the frequency of the waves is higher because you're hitting them sooner because you're running towards them. Similarly, if you were to run away from these waves, I mean, if you ran at the same speed of the waves, you could shift the frequency down to zero but obviously you can't run as fast as the speed of sound. So it doesn't happen for sound, but you can see that if you run away from the waves, they're gonna hit you less frequently and you're gonna think the frequency is lower. And so this is how the Doppler effect works as well. The, the tricky part about the Doppler effect is figuring out the direction and the sign of the velocities. So the formula on your formula sheet, and you're gonna see a lot of different formulas if you Google this. So I'm gonna to stick to your textbook and your formula sheet. It's not my favorite form of the Doppler effect, but we'll go with it anyways. Okay, so that's the formula. So this is the frequency you hear. So that's the listener. And that will change depending on whether, like I say, you're running toward the source or the source is moving towards you, or you're doing both the source is moving and like the ambulance is moving and you're running toward the ambulance. So that will change. This is the frequency of the source. That's never gonna change. Okay, so that's constant. And so like the siren on an ambulance, one frequency, it doesn't matter what the ambulance is doing. This speed, this is the speed of sound. And that doesn't change either other than with temperature. So we'll leave that constant. So that's speed of sound and that'll be constant. Okay, so the tricky things are this VL and VS. So VL is the speed of listeners, that's you. So that's whether or not you're running toward the source or away from the source. So if you're at the beach and you're running towards the source, you would put that speed as positive, greater than zero if listener um, moves toward source. Okay, so, and you can see if you put a positive number on top of this equation, the top gets bigger. So the frequency you hear over is higher because you're running towards those waves. Okay, and then you put it negative if you're moving away. Now on the bottom, this is where I don't like this formula, it's got a plus, and it's because it flips it around here. So Vs is the speed of the, of the source. So that would be like the ambulance zooming towards you or away from you. And in this case, they make the speed of the source positive if the source is moving away. It's moving away from you. from the listener. Okay, so if it's moving towards you, obviously you make it a negative. And if it's moving towards you and you put a negative on the bottom of this equation, you can make the bottom smaller, which makes the top bigger, which makes the whole thing um, bigger. And so you would actually hear a higher frequency. So that's a bit odd. You'll see other books that put a negative in the equation and then they flip the sign here. Okay, so there is a problem on your quiz that has to do, it gives you the frequencies that you hear as an ambulance approaches and then recedes. But the thing you have to be careful about is 
if the ambulance is approaching, you would put the V source negative. If the ambulance is receding, you would put the V source positive, but you would actually have to manipulate the equation and put a positive or a negative in the equation and take the speed of the car as, as an absolute value. And then you have simultaneous equations to solve. Okay, so that should help with one of your quiz questions there.